Good morning, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm embarking on a quite daunting but exciting project with an accomplice of mine of making a pair of floor standing speakers. I've made one here just out of thin MDF. I could have made it out of cardboard if it had stood up straight. I've made it in an interesting shape, just supposed to be better sound if it, rather than a rectangle. I'll explain more about the, the fundamentals of how it works inside later, but I've got the bass speaker will be there, the mid-range uh, tweeter at the top and the two, two port tubes there. Okay, let's get started. This is the wood that we're using, it's 3 quarter MDF, veneered in maple. Nice figure, this is a, one of the fronts. We're going to cut the angles on the front, or we're going to cut the angles on the fronts now, over here. Just cut the um, all the mitres, or we have just cut all the mitres. This is for the front facet here, which goes on that there. We're now cutting the mitres for this panel. It's going to go. Well, we're not doing that yet, but that bit that we're doing the mitre that down there. Yeah, and then later on, I'll be cutting mitres for this because this is an inset panel, so it's. That will probably be black and it's probably about four millimetres lower than this outside bit. That's it. I've got all the timber here laid out on this table. Um, what I decided to do was to give it a coat of sanding cedar uh, before I put it, assemble it because I didn't want any glue squeezing out or any fingertips with glue on it getting on the surface because when when you put the sanding cedar or the, your finished coat, it would have a, make a horrible mess. So this way they're covered and it's easy to wipe off. So I used shellac sanding cedar, like this. Gave it a coat of that first ball all over. Then I waited for that to dry, then sanded it down, fine sandpaper, and then I gave it another coat. So there's a good finish there now. Um, maybe not the finished um, finish, but I can do that again when it's all assembled. At least it's not porous now. Right. There's a front panel that's already been mitered out. And then that will sit on top like so. All the way around and then these will be mitered as well. Lovely. So this is one of the speakers face down. I'm starting to put these brace pieces in. They're glued in and this little bracket here obviously comes off later. I've just got it here to keep everything square so that this, these are totally upright. Um, these two come in later when these are, these are dry. These will be added two um, the bass speaker will go somewhere somewhere in the in the middle this one will have a hole in it to let the um, the bass sounds through and then there'll be two portholes which are here which will let the bass out at the front of the speaker every speaker should has its own specifications in terms of the volume that should be around it so that's all been worked out um, it's all done in cubic centimetres um, and if you wanted to find that out you'd have to if you're making your own speakers you'd have to go on do a Google and work out exactly how much volume it should have. Speakers all together all the 
the braces are in, but the bottom one isn't in yet. I'm doing that last. All the holes are cut out. Um, it's got to have the top piece put in and that's set down slightly in the middle. I've also done the speaker stands. I can't sit it on there at the moment because there's no bottom on there. But um, I've got these little beach beads really they are. They've got a hole through. You can buy them like that with a hole through. And I've got a dome end, dome chrome screw in there. And it, the weight, I haven't tight, put them up too tight because the, all the weight is on actually onto the screw. This is um, MDF at the right level of probably three bits of MDF to make that step the right height um, and it's faceted slightly and um, that's a bit of pitch pine well I could have used a hardwood but that was what I found and pitch pine is almost hard so that should do the job so far and the grills are done as well that A corresponds to that speaker um, Really, can say about it, but it's uh, fits on like that. Here they are at the moment, nearly all done, it's been a big job, but um, wheels are made, all I've got to do is put the tops on, and this, these are a bit cut to shape, with, with the mitres already done, but they've just got to be cut to length, and they fit in there, and then the top is slightly sunken, which I mentioned before, they've all been uh, wadded up inside, that helps it makes more full sound, makes it feel like the cabinet is a bigger cabinet. I mean they're big enough, but the but the speakers are big speakers so they can take uh, take the extra. And there they are. If you want to. The other thing I've um, done is I've made the tops as you can see. Um, and this bit will be set in, probably said this loads of times, but so long when I started these speakers. Uh, that goes down there and I won't put it in because it will get stuck in there. But it's uh, it will be set down by about three millimetres. And I'll probably do some sort of uh, very simple marbling effect on there to uh, set it off. Second, good old record. Mm -hmm.